Well, hello, boys and girls. My name is Ian, and I am the owner of B3 Strength and Performance. And you may not know this, but I used to be a kindergarten and a third grade teacher. And one of my favorite books to read was Opossumundus. I really like this book because you can make up your own voices for the characters and have a whole lot of fun with it. So I encourage you, after reading this book with me, to make up your own voices and have fun and drive your parents crazy. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Opossumundus, written by Colleen Sally. Illustrated by Janet Stevens. Here we go, kids. Opossumundus was his mama's and his auntie's sweet little patootie. They just loved him to death. And I love that he has a pacifier in his mouth. He is so cute. Well, Opossumundus used to go see his auntie most every day. And she nearly always gave him something to take home with him. Well, one day, she gave him a piece of rich gold cake. So Opossumundus took it in his hand, scrunched his hand up tight, and went along home. Well, on his way home, he passed Alligator. And Alligator asked, Uh, oh, what you got, Opossumundus? Cake, he replied. Mm-hmm, that don't look, look much like cake to me, said Alligator. Alligator's got a funny voice. Well, when Opossumundus got home, his mama looked at that fist full of crumbs and she said, Opossumundus, what do you have in your hand? Cake, mama. Auntie gave it to me. That doesn't look like cake, does it? It's all scrunched up and crumbled up. Oh, Apophamundus, you don't have the sense you were born with. Now, that's no way to carry a cake. The way to carry a cake is to put the cake on your head, put a hat on your head, and come along home. Now, do you hear me, Apophamundus? Yes, Mama. Now, if you ever want to join in while I'm reading, you can always do Apophamundus' part. He's going to say, yes, Mama, a lot. Well, by and by on another day, when Opossumundus was visiting his auntie, this time she gave him a pound of freshly churned butter to take home with him. Opossumundus put it on his head, put a hat on his head, and went along home. Now, do you think that's a good way to carry butter? I don't think so. Well, on his way home, he passed Raccoon. And Raccoon asked, <laughs> What you got, Opossumundus? Butter, he replied. <laughs> it turns to look much like butter to me, said Raccoon. Well, when Apossumundus got home, his mama looked at him and she said, Apossumundus, what do you have in that hat? Butter, mama. Auntie gave it to me. Oh, Apossumundus, you don't have a sense you were born with. Now that's no way to carry butter. The way to carry butter is to wrap it up in some leaves and carry it down to the brook and you cool it in the water and you cool it in the water and you cool it in the water and then you take it up carefully in your hands and you come along home. Now, do you hear me, Apophamundus? Yes, Mama. Well, by and by on another day when Apophamundus was visiting his auntie, this time she gave him a sweet little puppy dog to take home with him. So, Opossumundus wrapped it up in some leaves and carried it down to the brook. And he cooled it in the water, and he cooled it in the water, and he cooled it in the water, and then he took it up carefully in his hands and went along home. Well, on his way home, he passed Nutria. And Nutria asked, <laughs> what, 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 you, what you got, Opossumundus? A puppy. He replied, <laughs> no, no, d d don't much look like a puppy to me, no, sir, said Nutria. And I always thought Nutria should have a really hyper voice, because look at Nutria's teeth. I think Nutria eats a lot of sugar. Well, when Opossumundus got home, his mama looked at that poor little bedraggled puppy, and she said, <sighs> Opossumundus, what do you have in your hands? A puppy, mama. Auntie gave it to me. She looks frustrated. Now, let me ask you, have you ever had your mother or grandmother or dad or any family member look at you like that? 
putting that hand over their eyes and just looking frustrated? I know I have. Oh, Apothemundus, Apothemundus. Now you don't have the sense you were born with. Now that's no way to carry a puppy. The way to carry a puppy is to put the puppy on the ground, tie a piece of string around the puppy dog's neck, and take that piece of string and you come along home. Now do you hear me, Apothemundus? Yes, Mama. Well, by and by on another day, when Apostle Mundus was visiting his auntie, this time she gave him a freshly baked loaf of bread to take home with him. So Apostle Mundus put the bread on the ground, tied a piece of string around it, took the other end of the string, and went along home. Oh my goodness. And on his way home, he passed Armadillo. And Armadillo asked, <laughs> What you got, Boss Mundus? Bread, he replied. <laughs> that, that don't look much like bread to me, said Armadillo. And if it's an armadillo, it's got to be Southern. Well, when Apostle Mundus got home, his mama looked at that thing on the end of the string, and she said, Apostle Mundus, what do you have on the end of that string? Bread, mama. Auntie gave it to me. That doesn't look like bread anymore, does it? Oh, Apothemundus, Apothemundus, you don't have the sense you were born with. You never did have the sense you were born with. You never will have the sense you were born with. Now, I'm not telling you any more ways of bringing truck home, and I don't want you going to see your auntie either. I'll go see her myself. And Apothemundus' mama got her basket, but before she left, she said, Apothemundus, do you see those six pies cooling there on the porch? Yes, Mama. Well, Apothemundus, you be careful about stepping on those pies. And then Mama went off to see Auntie. All right, here's prediction time. What do you think Apothemundus is going to do? Okay, let's find out. And then Apothemundus was careful about stepping on those pies. He stepped right in the middle of every one. The end. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this book. There are many other Apostle Mundus books that I will continue to read. Our next one will be next Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed.